So what do you get when you mix Cooler and Frieza's storylines, place it in Universe 6, and essentially make Kaba Goku? Well, for one, you get a much cooler Kaba. And number two, you get Dragon Ball Super X. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Dragon Ball Super X is a fan-made manga that takes place after the Universe 6 tournament where Beerus and Champa try to fight over Universe 7's Earth. The result of that arc brings back Universe 6's Earth, that way Champa can go to that planet and eat all its delicacies. And that's what this manga kind of plays off, the fact that this Earth is a mirror Earth from the one in Universe 7. And actually, there are certain characters in this manga that seem to be like mirror char characters from un their Universe 7 counterparts. We start out with our main antagonist, his name is Bleed, and he is Frost's older brother. He's heading toward Earth because he knows that there's Dragon Balls there and he wants to get, get them all and wish for immortality, the same as Frieza did. Unfortunately for him, in this universe, Earth is being protected by the Saiyan Force, of which Kaba seems to be the main leader of, and his associates are three Saiyans that sort of look like Saiyans we already know. Just plain, these Saiyans are exact replicas of Goku, Raditz, and Nappa. And what Kaba does, and the Saiyan Force does, is they keep the peace on Earth. He stops bank robbers, uh, he protects the little guy, and during one of these failed bank robberies, hostage situations, he ends up finding a Dragon Ball, and he takes this Dragon Ball and he brings it back to planet Sadala. On his way there, he actually ends up passing Bleed's ship, who's heading straight for Earth. At this point in time, I don't know why he didn't just stop right there, because he knows that there is a evil power in this ship and it's heading straight for Earth. But he decides to continue going and heads to planet Sadala, where he meets another carbon copy from Universe 7, which is a little bit weird because this character would have already existed without Beerus' wish. This is King Sadala, and he looks like Vegeta from GT. He's got the mustache and everything. And so he shows King Sadala the Dragon Ball, and King Sadala tells him that the information that he's been getting from Earth is that something is going on before he lost all communications with Kaba's team. The last bit of information that he got was that a notorious space pirate was on the planet. So what they decide to do is they decide to keep the Dragon Ball on planet Sadala. They're, they know there's six more, but they only have this one. Obviously, you can't make a wish without all seven, so they leave this one on planet Sadala, and King Sadala sends Kaba back, and Kaba kind of takes it upon himself. He needs to protect the Earth, and he needs to save his friends. So this is a really more badass Kaba, in my opinion, and it comes through in the panels. Also, I like the fact that they decided to separate the Dragon Balls. This is something that is very Infinity War-esque, where you're separating certain things and elements. That way, they can be brought together and cause untold devastation in this way is Bleed's wish of becoming immortal. At this point in time we cut back to Universe 7 where they're having a barbecue and the Kais from Universe 6 bring Kaba back. I guess they snatched them up before he was killed and all this is under the assumption that he made it back to Earth and he faced off against Bleed and he starts explaining exactly what happened. He goes into Super Saiyan 2 as soon as he's healed because he's upset. He shows actual anger and he, he seems like he's a lot older in this, a lot older Kaba. And so he's trying to recruit Vegeta and Goku, well mainly Vegeta, to come back to Universe 6 and he's explaining what happened and essentially is that his friends, his comrades, faced off against some of Bleed's men, but these lieutenants for Bleed's army seem to be far more powerful than they can handle 
and they make quick work of these characters, these these mimic characters, and at that point in time is when Kaba shows up. They realize that they are facing the last of the Saiyan resistance, and the one guy that kind of looks like Jace ends up trying to destroy all three of them, but of course Kaba goes into his Super Saiyan 2 transformation, which in this story arc he does have after the Universe 6 tournament, I guess he gets it at some point, and he completely destroys uh, the Jace lookalike, and at that point it's when he's only got to deal with two more of the lieutenants, and Bleed shows up kills both lieutenants because he told them made it very clear that if he had to lift a finger to help them that finger was going to kill them the manga cuts back to universe 7 and both goku and vegeta are on board just like they were with trunks to go and help him out and it cuts back to bleed and it basically ends the episode quote unquote episode Similar how the old Dragon Ball Z US broadcast used to do where it used to end the episode with the narrator asking you whether you think he's going to be able to win against certain foe and this and that. So that's the end of the manga. I really enjoyed this one because there seemed to be a lot more characterization, a lot more panels to read, and it felt like they put a lot of uh, time and work into this without making them sound like the characters are speaking in a forced way. They sound very fluent. They sound like they've known each other. Like the really relationships make sense and there is one bonus manga chapter to this at the very end it's a couple pages long it has nothing to do with this story um, because this story is to be continued until the next chapter comes out but it's really interesting I'm going to go ahead and cover that more than likely tomorrow but let me know what your thoughts are on this manga do you like the way that it's that it's, it's fleshed out universe 6 a little bit more and it fleshed out kaba as a character let me know guys in the comment section below and if you have any manga suggestions for me to read out loud and you guys and i like the suggestions you put forth i'll go ahead and make video for them and give you a shout out in the process but anyway guys this is going to be blackscape signing off